how your hair's your hair coming out smelling like you know what i mean that fire come out looking like fire smelling like fire feeling like fire you know what i mean just fire you lit what up savage empire i'm back with some more fire that your heart desire it's your girl navy in a cup with another video back like enough but anyway so this video right here is with all my dreads lockers with all y'all been waiting for the nine month update finally made it finally here the nine month update i'm excited three more months until i hit a year three more months man like um, I cannot wait. I've been waiting for this day since forever. Like, well, not this day, but, you know, to be close enough to get to a year. You know, I'm basically there right now. But, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this off and show y'all what I'm working with. I went, I was going to do this video the other day. Uh, well, I was going to do it the day I got the retwist, which was Saturday. But I still needed a cut and I was looking rough. Like, I mean, you know, I had the fresh retwist, but the cut is what sets it off, man. You can have a cut without the retwist and still look nice, but if you ain't got the cut, it's just like pointless. But yeah, I was gonna do it Saturday. And then I didn't feel like going to the barber. It was raining. I was gonna do it Sunday when I got the cut. I barely got the cut Sunday. I hit my barber up like, hey, bro, I need you to come in, sap, sap. I know this shit off day, man, but I need you to come in. Like, I'm looking crazy. You feel me? So, he ended up coming in, coming in for me, getting me all chopped up and nice. You know what I mean? So, we gonna go ahead and skip all that and go into the update. All right. So usually when I get a retwist, I get a style to go ahead and hold me over for a while because I probably won't. I don't. I probably won't do the retwist for a couple months. I'm tired. I just really wanted to knock this video out. But um, I get the style, had it in for a little bit, and then kind of do the braid out. After this, I might do some two strands. I ain't did that since like Christmas and I know my hair got some more length so I know where to look you know fire but um yeah here we go right here let me scoop back a little bit so y'all can see okay here we go right here the fresh retwist like I said I got this Saturday now I mean now I mean with the cut so I'm gonna go ahead and get y'all 360 real quick all right bam here go the left side that's that. Scroll low, low back to the front. The front. Go over to the right side, right there. And then we are gonna hit the back like bam. You know what I mean? Bam. So that's a 360 a cut. Look at my hair, boy. I'm almost, I'm almost off them neck joints. But now nah, I got the uh, ends a little uh, like folded up in a rubber band, so it's not like stringy, and it's more so, you know, like that. So I fold. She folded the ends up and kind of made it like that. But man, who y'all can't tell me? Look at this. This is gonna bother me. I need to clean my face. I need a facial. But anyway. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like if some, if anyone, if anybody's in VA or come out to VA for a vacation, be man. But anyway, if y'all in VA, y'all should hit me up, cause I'm telling you, I got the dopest lactation in VA. Period, hands down. I definitely do. So how your hair's your hair coming out smelling like you know what i mean 
that fire come out looking like fire smelling like fire feeling like fire you know what i mean you just fire you yeah. right? simple but uh yeah uh what can i say about this uh differences i noticed and stuff i would say um so let's go back to month six so months well month five six is where i saw the biggest change in my hair as far as far as my locks expanding um like actually locking i can like do like this and my finger won't go through my lock like that thing lock you know what i mean uh and grow and growth like five and six that's where my growth was hitting busting and then uh seventh eighth it did a little bit i could see a little bit but it was just like kind of slow um from eight to nine i feel like uh i had a little bit more uh locking i started to uh, experience a lot of frizz a lot of frizz as it's trying to lock so it's like uh the hairs are like coming in but at the same time they're trying to fully form so it's like leaving it a little more frizzier than usual uh and then yeah um so on a daily basis like i don't and while i had a style i won't really do nothing with it as far as product i might every two to three days uh take not every day because you can over moisturize too so every about two to three days i'll take a little oil and kind of run it through run it through uh you know just like do that make it go through um i don't usually use the do-rags i only really use the do-rags now um for styles and this seemed to keep it more fresh uh for styles than a little sock thing that I uh, usually use. I used to sock things if, you know, it's just old and uh, I'm waiting on retwist and stuff like that. Um, but that's when I would do the sock. This is going to be, uh, y'all see me with this for a minute because I'm going to hide a style for a little bit until it start itching every i don't know if it's everybody but bro, like a lot of people i talk to had the same issue after you have a styling for a little and it's like kind of when you get a fresh retwist your hair itch a little bit but it's like it's clean oh it's clean like i don't know why you get that initial a little bit of itching but then it's gone and then um like you'll go get a if you have a style it's like after so long of having that style for me it's about a week after a week of having that style my joint start itching like i'd be like what the heck is going on and i'm like okay it's still not dirty like why is it itching but i don't know it's beyond me man um so yeah i don't man but yeah those are the big things that I noticed. Uh, like I said, I used a little oil in between that time. And then probably about two, two and a half weeks uh, is when I wash my hair. Like rather I have time in between, even if like one time I went like three or four months without getting a retwist, I still wash my hair. I'm just not gonna go without washing my hair. I'm gonna wash my hair, period. Like, I'm at the point now where it's like, I can wash it and it don't look awkward. Like, I think that's another thing I noticed too, uh, for this, for between my eighth and ninth month. Like, if I wash it now, I can go ahead and wash it, put my moisturizer in, and then, um, go ahead, if I, I usually don't, like to let it air dry i want to blow dry to make sure it's good i might let it air dry a little bit and then i go ahead and hit it with the blow dryer to make sure it's fully dry but it's like i notice when i wash it 
it doesn't before when i wash it it like uh when my coils weren't fully uh locked and stuff it would be like you know of course the initial little unraveling and then it had all the unraveling i have this much to still be in a coil and then my hair be like an afro with little little coils like that at the end and it kind of looked weird i mean it wasn't too bad like i would rock it i don't care but it kind of looked weird now i'm at the point where i can wash my hair and then you know blow dry to like get it all nice and dry and it just and it drops like it hangs and they still look like locks like i don't have to worry about putting on my nothing on my hair while I wash it none of that it drops and it look like regular dress so I definitely do love that I can wash it and still have a, a nice maintained look and it's not just like you know what I mean but I like that a lot um trying to think so right now uh my locking is going pretty good uh pretty pretty fast to me um compared to like some people's but then again you can't compare because everybody's hair is different every blah 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 but it's like i think i didn't got some lock locks locks pretty quick of course they're not mature but they definitely are locked up i think i got that pretty quick um it's like i started off with the coils uh, kind of long they shrunk a little bit they went back long they shrunk a little bit more when they was starting to thicken and form and then it dry it started dropping again but i can't wait for my stuff to get like right here like all of them at least past my um chin like when i when i put it down it's like this like that's the advantage of uh a full head of locks is because you're gonna tell your length quicker like somebody with like high tops you know since you sitting all the way up here like these on your side gonna make it look like yo your hair look dummy long you know what i mean if you got the high top joints and you waiting on these to fall these gotta fall from all the way up here to all the way down here so it'll be somebody with high tops for like two years and you be in that thing for like a year a year and a half and your hair like you know what I mean down here and there's like still like right here so that's why I do like the forehead I feel like if I was to ever I don't think I am though I'm pretty content like this I like having a lot like I don't have super skinny ones but I definitely have a good amount of locks on my head so I like having that many I don't think I would do the high top uh it looks nice when they keep it cut and you know you can like show your cut off and have it up show your cut and then you can also wear it down when they get the length you can wear it down no one ever knows but it's like if i were which i said i probably won't but if i were to do something like that it wouldn't be until my hair drooping like right here and then to the point where you can't tell that it's a uh, high type dress but yeah that's just my opinion, man. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. I had to get my lockers out here. The video, uh, it's been a little minute and I've been trying to, you know, create a little contact uh, in the middle of that. So uh, y'all that's, you know, strictly here for the dress, go ahead and check them out. If you, you know, like all the other content, content that i've been dropping um check that out you know as well but uh i do still have a lot of other content um to drop from previous from like within the last month i have so many videos i recorded that i have not uploaded yet so i need to get back on this thing man i need to get my thing going i need to keep consistent i need y'all to help me help me stay consistent man i'm trying help me help to motivate me stay consistent you know what i mean like i love the interactions the comments and all that stuff then it motivates me to bring myself back on here to get y'all you know what y'all came for but uh i'm sorry if this is kind of dry i ain't got my energy that i usually be having bro i'm like drink i'm drink i was at work 
doing some other stuff i'm up here stripping and waxing floors and stuff bro like i'm telling you i get out i'm putting all this on my resume i'm a i'm a flow stripper waxer i'm a painter i'm a uh renovator like bro i didn't did so much stuff come on bro i'm about to just go into a business and and redo some homes or something because i didn't did it all i didn't did it all but that ain't even what we're here for man but anyway um uh, thank you for all my new people uh that joined this channel um out of new people welcome to the savage empire i'm navy and i appreciate y'all but uh all the rest of the people that's been here i appreciate y'all man for everybody uh, i want y'all to stay blessed for my lockers out there stay locked remember as always never give up and man you know what i mean i appreciate y'all like i said i just appreciate y'all so much so if i keep saying it it's just like genuine because i really do appreciate y'all so much uh for helping me um on this grind you know what i mean but um yeah man until next video i'm gonna go ahead and get off this so i can upload this thing for y'all but yeah it's your girl navy and i'm signing out i'll see y'all next video yeah